Hey, good morning. Uh, we're going to do another one of these beautiful sn snowy winter scenes with the light coming through the trees. All right, we want to capture that light up in the top corner there. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I just threw some water at it. Uh, I threw the water because I want to capture that, that light in the trees coming through the trees. So I mixed up some ultramarine, a little bit of... Uh, Quinacridone sienna and a little rose. Bring it down uh, to a value that you like. And now uh, you can see I'm spattering into the water. I, I threw water first and now I'm spattering into the water to get this splashy look. And that will give you a nice sense of, you know, that light. And I'll, we'll, we'll take a close up of that. I want to show you what I'm doing here. The light coming through the leaves in the trees right there. See that light? We're trying to capture that. So I did, I threw the water first, so it's, it's a splatter of water and then a splatter of paint and it will capture that into the water, okay? All right, so we'll bring that down. Uh, so we have the woods in the back. This is just ultramarine now. A little tiny uh, drop of um, rose in there, but it's not as dark as the other. So we're looking at the, the, the woods in the background right now and the shadow coming out of the woods. So that's all we're, we're painting right now. Everything, forget about the trees. We're just painting the shadow, the dark in the woods and ha as it comes out to the snow. Okay, the way. so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just leading it out. Painting, I'm actually painting into the tree there. We're gonna go over that with the tree color, but that's the shadow of the tree as it comes down, goes over the mound in the snow. Okay, here's the other tree, the shadow of the other tree. That's the tree as it comes down, and then we'll just bring, this is all shadow. That's all we're painting right now, is the shadow in the back in the woods and then on the snow. Okay, and how it comes out there's a little mound of, a little valley of snow there that created that shadow. There's a rock here, um, a couple of rocks right there that we're gonna paint. We'll come back to that later. This is just the shadow on the rocks right now, for now. So just think, look at that photo and just think of just the shadow. Don't try to, we're not trying to paint anything more than that the whole shadow in the background and as it comes out hits the trees and shadow trees casting the shadow on the snow okay all right we want soft edges uh, on that shadow we don't want to the sh edges to be too hard just various shadows bouncing around Okay, I'm dropping a little, little bit of um, Windsor blue, yellow blue, just throwing it at it and dropping it on there. So there's another look at it. All right, all right. I'm putting a little green in that light in the background now that it's dry back there, because uh, those are leaves, you know. All right, I'm gonna put the tr the trees in now. These are the trees back in the woods. And the key here, like like always, you know, when you have a, whenever you have a lot of trees, uh, the key is not not to make them all the same. You know, make some thin, some fatter, you know, some thicker. And you know, these I'm not too worried about because we're actually going to cover a lot of that in the shadow. I'm going to go back into that shadow. So, just I'm more interested in the base of the trees here, as you'll see as we get into it a little more. Okay, so there's the dark shadow on the top. I'm gonna to bring that over. You can't see the trees at the top because it's so dark, there's so much shadow. So I added a little water to my brush and it's lighter. So it's very dark in the corner. Then I brought it down as a lighter value of violet, just painting over those trees. They're in the back there, so you really can't see much of it. Okay, we're on the other side. <clears throat> Same thing. 
it's very dark. It's just ultramarine with a little uh, quinacridone sienna, just a drop to make it darker, but pushing it towards the blue side, uh, added a little rose to it. So I'm basically going over the shadow that we made earlier, making it a little darker. But watching, be careful of the light. You don't want to lose that light at all. All right, so you get the light coming through those trees. A few more trunks coming down on the left side there. These are all trunks way in the back in the woods. You just barely see, see the trunks sticking down. But it gives you a nice sense of a forest, you know, of the woods. Okay, here's the rocks now. We're gonna paint. There's a couple of rocks in the front here and they're covered with snow. We painted that earlier with that shadow, but there's, the rocks are showing here and that's what I'm painting right now. I'm just the suggestion of the uh, rock coming through the snow. <clears throat> okay, just a couple of them here. We got a close up of it above there. Okay, so there we are. Right, and there's some little shrubbery there, little pieces of maybe stone or grass or whatever peeking through in that little valley of the shadow there. All right, and then there's some rocks showing in the background. <clears throat> They're a little bit lighter in the back. And you can just, you know, place them randomly here and there. What's important are the, the woods and then these big trees in the front that we're going to do very shortly. Okay, just little pieces of black in the background. I'm adding a little more shadow to these rocks in the front here. And there's the shadow of the, sh of the rock itself. And Okay, so we'll put these two uh, big trees in the front that are showing. Bring those down. That's into the shadow that we painted earlier, see? This is the other one on the left. This has a sort of a double, double tree. Trim out the base of it. Make that a little darker. A couple of branches on it. One going through a little bit of the light. That's that pulls it in front of that light, which is nice. Okay. Yeah. Add a little texture, make them a little bit darker. All right, the same on the, the other tree on the right. Shape out the base of it. A little bit darker on the bottom. Right, I'm just adding a little color to the shadow, into the shadow, a little modulation in the snow, the way the hill may go up and down over the bumps in the snow, and so that creates a little difference in, in the shadow themselves. Not too much, just a little bit here and there, keeping in mind that you always want the soft edges on the shadow. And that gives you a little variation in the shadow color, you know, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, that'll dry up and just keep the edges soft. 
Okay. Those trees are the main actors on the stage there. All right, so a little touch up here and there, soften the edges. All right, that was a fun painting. That's, it's a, you know, it didn't take us very long to do it. If you see that big shadow shape, that's what's really important, so. All right, just touch up little pieces of shadow here and there. All right, thank you for uh, joining me. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well, and uh, I will see you very soon. If you have not subscribed, please do that. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you again very soon. Keep safe out there now.